Hi everyone and welcome to the Sewing Swan. Uh, upon request of Shakraya Min, I hope I am saying it right, she requested a blackout sheet for the baby as she is traveling. As soon as I finished my schedule, I ran to um, answer the request and here it is for today. This is a blackout sheet for the baby's crib, the baby's stroller or the car seat. I hope you like this tutorial. Let's go. Before starting jumping into the tutorial, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and um, activate the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. And let's go. For this project we will be using 100% cotton fabric, the one we use for lining clothes. You could see through if you uh, put it uh, in front of the light so this guarantees breathable, very breathable uh, material over the baby's head or over the baby's crib or car seat or whatever you are using this blackout with and rickrack. Fabric measures 36 by 39 inches. Five yards of these. The edges one quarter of an inch and then one half of an inch and sew very close to the edge, to the folded edge, all around the, the all around the blackout. If you have like the salvage, the salvage of this fabric is very um, is very thin. You can keep it. You can keep the salvage. You can use as is and only hem the two of the four edges of the fabric. So you fold one quarter of an inch and then one half of an inch. As you can see here I folded one quarter of an inch then one half of an inch and then I'm going to sew really close to the edge to this edge the inner edge all around and 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 here is the inside now if you want to skip sewing the uh, salvage go ahead and to the opposite side and do the same. If you want to sew all around the four, uh, the four sides you just do the same. Fold for one quarter of an inch and overlap with another half inch fold and sew really close to the inner edge the way we have done here. Finished sewing or hemming the edges and now we are adding the rickrack. So we fold the edge of the rickrack just a little bit, like a quarter of an inch and then we just stabilize it on the edge, edge to edge. This way. We can use pins to stabilize in place and when we come to the edge of every side we just without flipping it just we turn it as the fabric turns and we will create just a little bit of a corner of the recrack just a little bit like this just a little fold and we go on with the new side. This way. We are finished um, putting the recrack all around. We are cutting, we, we are leaving like um, an inch, only one inch and we will flip the fabric we will fold it once and twice and stitch back and forth just to keep it in place and to give it a nice finish and here it is finished i hope you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up if you like it comment below if you need any help with it share this video with your friends 
and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet for the future tutorials and I will see you next time don't forget to activate the bell icon so you get notified next time I upload a video and bye bye